Hi friends, welcome to SPG Learning. In this video, we are going to learn about layout management. In Android Studio, layout management. Layout. What is layout? Layout defines the structure for a user interface in the application. Layout management. It enables a way to arrange the visual components using different types of layouts like linear, relative, etc. Types of layout management that is layout in Android Studio. Number one, linear layout. It a linear layout, relative layout, frame layout, table layout, grid layout. Linear layout. Arrange the views in a single direction. That is. Horizontal or vertical. Vertical direction, horizontal direction. Relative layout. It specifies how the child views of other layout positioned each other. That is relative to each other. Frame layout. It starts the child view on top of each other. The reason child is in the top. First child, second, recent. Table layout. It groups its child in rows and columns. Each row contains set of child views. Grid layout. It displays the views in equally sized rectangle grid. That is a 3 cross 3 rectangle grid. Let's do this in Android Studio. First, open Android Studio. It will take a while. Then click File, New, New Project. In that, select Empty Activity and click Next. Then type the app name as Layout Management App and click Finish button. Now add sub activities that is for each and every activities by clicking new that is in layout new activity empty activity in that type the activity name as linear and click finish button. Similarly, add the activity for frame, table, relative and grid layouts. The corresponding Java files are automatically created. First do the main activity design by clicking activity underscore main dot xml file. Change the layout that is text to view to linear value to text to value to linear management. Text to size 25 dp, style bold, text to color to black. Change the value of layout constraint bottom to bottom 20 and padding left to values as 60 and padding right as 20. Now 
Now add one button with values, layout with the strap content, height as strap content, text as linear layout, ID as linear. Let's move to design part by clicking the button. Position the button according to the constraint. Then copy and paste the button for similar other four layouts. Then change the button attribute text to relative layout. Similarly change the text for frame, table layout and finally for grid layout. Now move to the code part and change the ID of second button to relative third button to frame, fourth button to table, fifth button to grid. Now position the constraint values to the third button in the design print and also do it for all the other buttons. Slightly change the layout manager text view also. Now our code has been changed according to the constraint positions. Let's run the app. It is working. Let's do the Java code. For that, click main activity.java file. Now add button linear for the design using the method find view by id and add the click event to the button. In that, add one indent to insert the activity of linear by using getContext method with linear.class value and use start activity which we assigned in the indent object. Then copy and paste the same set of code for other activities for, frame, for relative, frame, table and grid layout. That is add 4 more buttons and on click events for the other button and only change the button variables and also in the code path indent class. Now run the app. It is working. Let us do the code for each layout. First let us design linear layout. Go to activity underscore linear dot xml file. In that change layout name to linear layout. Then add heading using text view with layout with the wrap content, height as wrap content, text as linear layout, padding value to 15 dp, text color as purple 500, text size as 20 dp, text style as bold, margin left value to 100 dp, margin right to 15 dp, top margin value to 20 dp, background of text view to till 700 text alignment as center add one more linear layout with width and height as wrap content in that layout add a text view to define the statement of linear layout that is definition the attribute values of the text view are padding value 15 dp, text color white, text size 20 dp, background purple, text style bold, margin left under, right 5 dp, top 50 dp, text alignment as center. Also set the orientation to vertical. Now add one more linear layout to define the horizontal view orientation. 
horizontal layout width and height as wrap content in that add an one text view with layout width and height as wrap content text as linear layout horizontal row other attributes are padding 15 dp text color purple text size 15 style bold margin top value 20 background teal text alignment center now add one more linear layout to define the buttons in the horizontal view in that the values of layout width and height as wrap content set the orientation as horizontal to display the buttons add one more layout inside it with the values of layout width and height as wrap content id as button 1 text as linear view 1 text size as 10 sp style as bold now copy and paste the button two times and just change the text and ids this is the horizontal view now add one more linear layout for heading for that just copy and paste the above heading value and change the text to vertical column Similarly copy and paste the buttons which we do it in the horizontal view and just change the id's name and orientation to vertical now we have the vertical view finally to add the back button that is move the control back to the main page add the button for that add one more linear layout with layout width and height as match parent orientation as horizontal gravity as right in that add the button layout with width 70 height 40 dp id as linear back layout gravity as right text as back text size as 10 sp text style as bold Now the linear design is over. To activate the back button, add the code in linear.java file. For that, move to the file. First, to get the button value from the design using the method find view by id. then add the click event to the button in that create an indent object with get context method to set back the activity to main activity now define the start activity method for the indent object check the first layout by clicking the linear layout button it will be directed to the linear layout again click the back button the control move to main activity page let us design the second layout relative layout for that first change the layout name to relative layout then add one text view to define the heading with layout width and height as wrap content text as relative layout padding 15 dp color purple size 20 style bold layout margin 100 dp right 15 dp top 20 dp background teal and uh, text alignment center id text view 1 
to define one more text view to write the statement about the relative layout uh, below the relative layer text view that is the relative layout position the views uh, relative to each other so for that we have to use the attribute layout below for that the attribute values are layout width and height as wrap content layout below as text view 1 the other attribute values are text as type padding 15 dp color purple size 20 dp style bold layout margin uh, top 20 background color teal text alignment center id text view 2 also add the text view to get the value that is enter the name in the values attribute values are layout width and height as wrap content padding 15 dp uh, then copy and paste the rest of the values from the above now to get the value from the user use edit text view with layout width as 200 dp height as 80 dp layout align parent right as true and layout below as mentioned in the above text view and the int value is name text color purple and copy the rest of the values Now we are going to add the back button. So copy and paste the back button from the linear layout, and just change the ID to relative back and align parent as true, and also layout below as edit text one. Uh, to activate the button relative to Java file, for that. go to linear java file copy and paste the java code and paste it in the relative java file and change the button values and also change the click event to relative button first click the relative button and then click the back button the control move to home page we will see the other three layouts in the next part of this video thank you